Hey guys, Drax here. Um, I just created a new warrior on the Tournament Realm to show you guys how to set up your add-ons. And this was a request that I got on my YouTube page about how to set up Tell Me When specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Um, when you first have Tell Me When on there, you'll see it kind of have a little bar here. And you can just left click and drag this wherever you want. If you hit slash TMW for tell me when, um, it makes it disappear. It puts it into hide mode. So you want to be able to see those. So slash TMW, make this thing pop up. If you right click on this, it'll bring up um, the options. Now, what I, the first thing I do is I set up my groups. And you click over on the group settings here, and you go over to your groups. The first group is already enabled. So group two, we want to enable that too. And I kind of off-center stagger these top ones um, group three we're gonna have as our enemy it's gonna be track uh, the internal cooldown of impan string is gonna track when the enemy's stunned and it's gonna track when they're silenced and then we're gonna have another bar that I'm gonna put kinda down here at the bottom group four and then group five, we're also going to put down here at the bottom somewhere. So we can close all this stuff and just have our bars open. So down below here is usually where I track my offensive abilities. Up in the middle here, I track improved hamstring internal cooldowns, stun, and silence. And up here, I track uh, different miscellaneous buffs. I track nature's grass from druids. I track fingers of frost from mages. I track... Uh, damage buffs that enemies players have and I also track the defensive buffs that enemy players have. So let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is configure our taste for blood. So you enable icon, you click here, you click down on buffs and debuffs. So you want to type in taste for blood and you click on one of those off the side and you hit enter. Um, you want to show the timer on this and we're tracking it on our player which is us. We also want to make sure that we check that it's a buff and that we want to show when it's present. So we hit OK. The next one will be deadly calm and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit enable icon, go down to buff, and we're going to hit our deadly calm, click over there and hit enter. If you don't hit enter in here, sometimes it's a little screwy and it doesn't properly configure the spell you want. So I like to just make sure I hit enter right here and get it in there. So everything else is set up. It's a buff. We want to show when it's present. We're going to show the timer. We're going to show the timer text. So then we hit OK. The next one we set up is slaughter from our lamps to the slaughter. That's going to be another buff. Slaughter. As you can see here, there's a couple different ones like not really sure it matters which one you put, but um, and it's buff. We want to show when it's present. Exact same settings for everything. Um, down here is my rude interruption, which is also a buff that you get. And I have mine for 15 seconds, so I'm going to choose this top one here. And I, when it's on my player, I want it to be buff when it's present, and we want to show the timer and the timer text. Um, these two right here, this one's going to be my landslide proc, which is also a buff, and it's called landslide, and it's this top one here, it's not the, uh, the summon shardlings one, it's not that. So when we hit enter, we want to show our timer, everything's already pretty much set. The next one is the proc trinket, which is also a buff, and the proc on the trinket is called surge of victory. And it's this top one right here. It's the 963 strength for 20 seconds. You want to show the timer, show when the buff's on, all that good stuff. So now, the, well, we'll, we'll go into the Nature's Grasp next, and then I'll cover the presets. But this is going to be a buff that your target has. So we're going to switch from player down to target. And this is Nature's Grasp. We're going to do the one with three charges because that's the druid version. We want to show a timer on that. 
we want to show when it's present and it's a buff for the target. Um, the other one I like to show is for mages, Fingers of Frost. And the reason I show this is so you know if a mage has an instant cast, I'm going to show it on our target, so you know if the mage has an instant cast, deep freeze or not. Now we get into the preset ones. Here is, we're going to show icon, and we're going to show buff and debuff. For our target, we want it to show the timer. There's going to be a debuff. And we're going to go here, and we're going to show stunned. And it has all these different stuns down the side. We have cheap shot, kidney shot, gnaw, bash, stun, pounce, maim. The list goes on. So we're going to show all these stuns in this. So put in there, hit enter, make sure it accepts the icon. Hit OK. The next one is for silences. And I'm checking the debuff right here. I've never really done that in the past. I don't think it really matters with the presets. And then we go down to silenced, and it has all these different silences. Which is good because then we know if the guy could heal or not. And that way we can time our throwdowns or our fears with our um, teammates' silences and stuns. So that helps us out a lot. Um, the other presets I use are up here, and these are going to be buffs that the player has. So our target, these are going to be buffs, and we show the timers on these. So we go to the buffs, and then we go down here, and we go to defensive buffs. And this is like anti-magic shell, pain suppression, shield wall, icebound fortitude, bark skin, evasion, and we have a bunch of those. So we go in there, and we hit enter, and it shows a little icon of anti-magic shell. Then up here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go down to buffs and debuffs. We're going to show timer. It's a buff, and we're going to show it for our target. And we're going to buffs, and we want the... Um, what is it? Damage buffs here. And this is Recklessness, Death Wish, Deadly Calm, Berserker, Tiger's Fury, Rapid Fire, Demon Soul, Beast Within, Avenging Wrath, Shadow Dance, Unholy Frenzy, and Icy Veins. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit enter here and it shows a picture of Recklessness. Don't ask why these other ones don't show pictures. I have no clue. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is probably one of the most important ones. And this is the internal cooldown of Improved Hamstring. So we go down to Internal Cooldown and Spell Duration. We want to show the timer. We want to show the buff, slash debuff, slash energize. And we want it when the spell is present. Um, we know this is going to be 30 seconds just by looking at the tooltip. And then we're going to type in... Improved hamstring. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put this one in there. And that should be it. So then you hit slash TMW and they all hide. Alright, so here we are. We're on live. I'm going to fly over here. As you can see, my tell me when is set up pretty much identical to the way I just showed you. I got everything in the same spots. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go in. It shows our stun. It shows that we got taste for blood. So it shows our cooldown on our improved hamstring as you can see. It's got improved hamstring on it. The cooldown's sticking down. We just got a surge of victory proc. We got a slaughter proc. Let's see, here we get our landslide. And let's see if we can get our deadly calm in there. See, this guy has recklessness. He's my target, so it shows up there under damage buffs. Hope this video has been uh, insightful for you on setting up your add-ons for PvP. I know the sound quality is horrible. I'm trying to fix that for future videos. So stay tuned, and hopefully it'll be fixed. And as always, I'll see you in the arena.